everybody, this is Jason Friedman with Rockets.com. It's the day after the 2011 NBA draft. We're here meeting all the newest members of the team, one of whom is Mr. Johnny Flynn. Johnny, how are you doing? How are you doing, Jason? Welcome to Houston. Thank you, thank you. Awesome to have you. Uh, you know, remember your days in Syracuse, yeah. and of course you were part of that insane, was it a five overtime six. game? Six overtime six game overtime, in, yeah. in the Big East tournament. Um, you know, I know that everybody was super high on you a couple years ago, and we were talking even before this interview started, mm -hmm. and brand new start for you. How, how, how are you feeling? I feel great. Um, like I was saying before, uh, last night felt like I was drafted all over again. Uh, I got the phone call from my agent saying that the Rockets was interested in me, and uh, it was ironic that I already have been down here working out with John Lucas weeks prior to mm -hmm. this. So. Um, it's just a good fit for me, a great organization. You have a great coach in Kevin McHale, you know, who knows the game in and out, who's played the game, which makes things a lot easier. So I just can't wait to get it started. Did you, when you were going through the draft process a couple of years ago, I mean, I know that, you know, management and the scouts try and meet with everybody. Mm -hmm. So did you have some previous relationships from that process with some of the Rockets management? I actually did. You, you did? Know, okay. At the uh, Chicago Combine, you know, you go through an interview process and, uh, those was one of the teams I interviewed with, but they had the 25th pick. And, right. uh, as soon as I walked in there, they said, we know we're not going to get you, but would you still like to have this interview? And I said, of course, why not? You know, why not have an interview like this and keep relationships? And uh, I think that's a main reason, you know, that interview and you know how we hit it off and click, clicked in that interview is why they might have picked me up now. So I think, you know, that was a big thing, you know, going and, and having that with them. And uh, this is why I'm here today. Did you go into last night? with a pretty good idea that you might have a new address by the end of the evening? I was pretty sure. Yeah. And I was pretty sure whether it would be last night or whether it would be a couple of days after you know, that I would, would be traded. Um, like you said, just having a fresh start, having a clean slate, um, going to Minnesota, getting drafted, um, the good and the bad, you know, taking that, taking uh, the bits and pieces out of that and, and becoming a better person. You know, I like to say in those two years I did a lot of growing up, reflected a lot, uh, see what I could have done better. You know, and uh, it's made me a better person. So how are you different? I mean, how is Johnny Flynn today different than the guy who got drafted by the Timberwolves a couple of years ago? I think I'm not as naive. Really? And I think I know, I understand, you know, this is a big business. I understand uh, sometimes you can't control things that happen to you. And uh, knowing that now makes things a lot easier. You know, it makes you work harder. It humbles you. Uh, it makes you uh, more appreciative of everything that you have in your life. So, uh, like I said, those two years of my life, you know, it was some lows. But um, I definitely learned a lot from it and it made me a great person. Now, you were injured for part of last year mm -hmm. as well, right? Now, yeah. what, what exactly was the injury? I was a hip, hip injury. Okay. Um, it was a labrum tear. Um, labrum is a cartilage, cartilage that surrounds the hip socket. And I had a bone deformity that was kind of cutting into my labrum, you know, over time. Just, just kept cutting into it, kept cutting into it. And towards the end of my rookie season, uh, I had to get it stitched up and get surgery. And, uh, what a lot of people don't understand is, you know, injury like that is, is just as severe as a ACL injury. Sure. And I think a lot of people didn't uh, take that into account. You know, when I came back to playing, you know, I didn't have a training camp. I didn't have a preseason. I came right back into the fire playing games without, you know, having really some time to, you know, work the kinks out. So uh, uh, Houston Rockets overlooked all that. You know, they seen seen the player that I am and seen the player that I can become in this league. And uh, I'm very appreciative that they picked me up. So fair to say then that, NBA fans have not seen the real no, Johnny Flynn not yet at so all. far. They haven't seen the real Johnny Flynn. Um, you've seen glimpses in Minnesota. You've seen games where I have great games against great point guards in this league. And uh, uh, I think down in Houston, uh, it's a great situation for me. You know, with a coach like Kevin McHale, who's going to let us play. He's going to go out there. We're going to run pick and rolls. We're going to get up and down the floor. And that's Johnny Flynn's game. You know, that's that's what everybody knows me from. Getting out on the break, making things happen, creating for others. So I can't wait. No, to get back to showing people the real Johnny Flynn. So much was made of the fit of you and the triangle, and it just wasn't the right offense. And, I mean, obviously, an offense that takes years, really, mm -hmm. to, to be comfortable. And, of course, you were going into a situation, new system, a lot of new players, a lot of young yeah. players. And that's tough, and I don't think people really understand that. You you talked about the difference in the Rockets' offensive system yeah. now, and obviously that's still sort of coming together, what it's going to be like with Kevin McHale, but how does that suit you better, and, and will that bring out, how will that bring out the better attributes that you have that you can offer and, and really accentuate the strengths in your game? Oh, uh, it fits me well, perfectly. Uh, 
Um, it fits me to the T. You know, in the triangle offense, uh, you really don't need a point guard to run the offense. You know, you, you pass the ball and, and you go to the corner and you kind of wait for it to come back to you. You know, you're not in there making plays. You, you take away your playmaking ability. And uh, not only me, you know, other guys in the offense struggle too. You know, it's not even just a point guard. Sure. Like you said, young guys want to get out and run. You know, it's not a system, you know, for, for guys that's young and willing to get out and run. So um, I think just coming to Houston and, and playing an the up-tempo style of game is, is going to fit me perfect along with the, the new rookies that we got and uh, the great core that we have here already. So I just can't wait to get started. Is there a point guard in the league now you look to and you say that's sort of the guy I model my game after, or even a, a couple of guys that maybe it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that? Well, that's what you do. You know, you right. take bits and pieces of everybody. Um, I think, you know, with my explosiveness, my way to find people, uh, my scoring ability, you know, the way I can come off screens and shoot the ball, you look at all the point guards in the league and you try to take bits and pieces out of the game, whether it's on the offensive end, whether it's on the defensive end, you know, seeing who's the best leaders on the floor. You try to take all those things because you want to be the best in the league. So that's the only way you can do it is if you look at them overall as a whole. Tell us a little bit about yourself off the court. Who is Johnny Flynn? Oh, I like to I like to clown around. I like to have fun. Um, I like to lighten the mood up. You know, I like to come in the room if if people was down. I like to pick them up, crack jokes. Uh, I'm a real chill guy. You know, don't need don't need a lot to be entertained. But uh, I just like to have fun. You know, that's the main thing I can say. I just like to get out there and just make sure everybody's smiling. You know, I, I sport a smile all the time, so I, <laughs> I gotta can tell. make sure everybody is smiling around me. It's awesome. Well, Johnny, we're so happy to have you, man. Congratulations again. Welcome to Houston. Thank and uh, can't wait to see you out there on the floor next year. I can't year. wait either. Awesome. Thanks, man.